What's up YouTube, Never Lucky Pulse here, today showing you my sprite deck profile, it arrived finally at Master Duel, the new tier 0 deck, the Maxi Abuse deck is here, and as you can see I'm playing the hand trap build, not mixing it with runic or with the evil twin engine, because in my opinion you need to stop your opponent's turn, otherwise you will lose, therefore the hand traps. Let's get started, first off double DD Crow. The main purpose of this card is to banish Ronin Toad from the graveyard because he gives you a lot of resources in the grind game, he is the winner, therefore you need to banish this card. Plus you can banish the target of uh, Elf, so your opponent can't go full combo. A 2 of is perfectly fine in my opinion. Next up double Whaler, the purpose is to negate the uh, field effects, it's the 4th and 5th copy of Imperm. So two copies are fine in my opinion. Triple Frog and one Ronin Toad for the Frog package. Obviously uh, you need to play him as a free of. he is super super busted. He will bounce Maxi back to the hand and you will always have Maxi if you resolve Gigantic. And Maxi is an insta win obviously. Plus uh, you draw multiple cards and you will draw in multiple hand traps which means you will stop your opponent's turn no matter what. Next up, the one Nimble Angler and Triple Bieber. The Angler can be discarded by Frog or the Super Poly. And if he is uh, discarded, he can special summon two Biebers to the field. At the moment, we don't have Sprint here, but later on with new support, Sprint will come out and the combo will be even stronger. But at the moment, a one-off is perfectly fine in this deck. Uh, one Iperia for draw power, if he is summoned or special summoned, you draw one card. So in the best case you normal summon him, draw one card, special summon blue and get your full combo rolling. Um, blue is the straightest of the deck, if he is special summoned you can search for one sprite monster. Most of the time you will go for Jet because Jet gives you the quick spells if he is special summoned. Um, the red and the carrot are the negates, red is the monster negate and carrot is the spell and trap negate. A one-off because I don't have a space in the main deck, obviously do it to the hand traps. And next up triple ogre, ogre is very important, he is the main out against gigantic. Gigantic resolves this effect only if he can detach the card and um, if he is destroyed by ogre's effect he won't detach and the effect won't resolve, so your main out is G ogre against gigantic. Next up Triple Ash, obviously a free of against Maxi, against all the sprite effects because they search and special sum from the deck, therefore a free of is a must. Uh, one Prosperity for the consistency, obviously you can play it easily with Iperia, you only have one copy of Prosperity and one of Iperia, so we, you will rarely see both cards in your starting hand, that's why it's perfectly fine to po play both in the deck. As a board breaker or as a trap card you can play Super Poly. Um, with the Mud Dragon and the Venomy Dragon as the targets. Especially in the mirror match you will see a lot of Jets and Blues on the field so you can use them to special summon the Venomy Dragon. And later on if Garuda comes also a very viable option to clean the board against the Elf and the uh, um, Trap and Spell Negates. Next up basically a triple copy of Cold by the Grave. You have double copy of Cold by the Grave and one Crossout Designator. In the mirror match this card is busted, you can negate everything. And the main purpose of this one is to stop the Maxi, obviously. If you go first and your opponent drops the Maxi, you need the Cope by the Grave or the Designator to out the Maxi. For the consistency and the uh, um, extender, the starter, Konami limited this card right away to two because they knew this deck is super super broken. This card is uh, full combo, if you open with starter alone you basically um, some blue, blue gets you jet, jet gets you the starter, you overlay for gigantic, gigantic gives you uh, one of the, the guys or the Iperia or the frog, whatever you want. So yeah. This is very very easy to play if you open starter. Next up, one smasher, it's not the non-target banish out against the Dragoon or some other problematic cards. You most of the times will search this card if you have full combo already going first as a quote unquote trap card. And for the last card, triple imperm to stop your opponent, obviously. For the extra deck, uh, the Super Poly targets the Mud Dragon and the Venomy Dragon. For the XYZ monsters, Jin Buster and the Centaurus, you can go uh, for Zeus with double material. So you have uh, two materials under this guy, then you overlay for Downward Magician and then for Zeus. So you will have double board wipe on the field. Uh, next up, double Gigantic. Two of is fine, you don't need the third copy. 
uh, one mascarina for the link plays very important one dark dark can be used to uh, special summon in the mirror match for example the blue or the jet to go full combo double elf as uh, the next main boss monster um, you can play free copies but i don't have the extra deck space so a two of is fine for me and you will very rarely need the third copy so two is fine for me personally and in my opinion you don't really need the third one but if you have the space you can go for it next up one unicorn the additional interruption in your opponent's turn you can link some this one with mascarena or you can go for a palooza with four negates so it's up to you and your opponent's deck which one you want to go for and to go for a game or to clean probability cards access court talker so yeah i hope you enjoyed this deck before guys this is the new tier zero deck it will destroy everything so if you want to play the top ranks you need this deck otherwise you will have a very very hard time you can also play Nibiru if you want, but in my opinion, if you play against very good players, they will summon Gigantic in under 5 summons and your Nibiru will probably be dead most of the times. That's why it's better to go for Snow Rabbit, because Snow Rabbit can also be used against Runic, for example against the Field Spell or against the Brave Token Engine. So this card is in my opinion a bit better compared to Nibiru. But it's up to you. I mean, if you prefer Nibiru, you can play Nibiru, but I will go for the Snow Rabbit, of course. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this deck before, guys. Drop a like and subscribe. And see you in the next one. Bye!